Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with my Ellie Righteous Fire build. Uh, so before I get started, we are currently level 98 on the character. Uh, the purpose of this character is like purely for map clear. It's not designed to boss at all. What that means is instead of trying to thin the build, or I guess not thin the build out, but yeah, thin the build out more and make it more of like a bosser, uh, which is basically getting more single target, I've invested all of those resources into things like area of effect and more survivability um, so that the build can actually like map efficiently and level to 100. Um, so that basically means that this character has like 78 max res with Lori of Eternal Damnation. Uh, it's also just, it's basically block cap, spell block cap with a recovery shield. And on top of that, um, the changes that I have done to it from the last video is I actually found myself a red nightmare in SSF. Uh, the purpose of this jewel is it allows me to remove the block mastery while also gaining endurance charge gain on kill. Uh, I have also spec one endurance charge here, so I get 16% physical mitigation while mapping, which is really nice. And the last thing is I recrafted myself a new helmet. I got pretty lucky on this helmet. I say pretty lucky, but I also dumped like eight divines into it, trying to get plus two AoE on an unveil and just would not unveil for the life of me. Um, so that's our new helmet. The other thing that we have done is I have pivoted over to a Vol Flame Blast setup instead of Fire Trap. It feels much better for the way I map on this character. With that being said, let's get started. Everything else is exactly the same. My weapon is still very poo-poo. I do need to get a new weapon, but yeah. So I'm currently running Dunes with Rusted Legion, Rusted Div. You don't have to do this. I'm trying to farm a Rumi's uh, Breach and Carto. You also don't need Carto. Uh, I'm not 100% sustaining Dunes, but my map sustain is like not a problem at all. I, I could just like, yeah, I could run other maps. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I also put Breach on here. So currently, um, I have like a lot of Legion sets. I've also ran two four ways. This character is not too bad for four ways. I just barely get about four reward marks. And then for Breach, we have a ton of Breach sets. The purpose of the Breach is going to be for farming Maven invitations so that I can hopefully end up getting multiple Mavens and then hopefully get some more Awakened Gems. And then for the Legion, it's going to be for number one, XP, number two, a overall, a bunch of loot, number three, Lethal Pride and Brutal Restraints like I have, I think... Uh, I have a few already here from farming well with that being said though let's go ahead and get started uh i'm not going to go into too much repetitiveness from like the last video so just know that everything starts with the assonance gentle touch uh with that being said we're going to go blast I'm not going to pick up any loot for this. There's going to be just loot dropping all over the place, so... In fact, actually, let's even turn down the loot filter noise just a little. You could, if you wanted to, save these so that, like, at the end, when you're clicking all your altars, you open all of these. I do that occasionally, but... I just woke up, I'm too lazy, I don't care about the efficiency right now. The setup I'm currently using for the Vol Flame Blast, it may not be the best setup, this is just what POB is telling me, and uh, remember it's more for Vol Flame Blast, not for regular Flame Blast, but it is currently Vol Flame Blast, Cruelty, Immolate, and Combustion. Um, with the Immolate, you want to make sure that you hit the target first with anything. Granted, considering this build, like, will clear off screen, uh, there's a 99, there's basically a 100% chance whatever I'm hitting is already ignited. Uh, unless it's the map boss, in which case you can just, like, frost blink on its face and it'll be ignited already. Or just tap it with a regular flame blast like this and it'll be, in the, uh, ignited. All right, so this is where this character shines here. So I like to, before popping this Legion, I'm going to just walk around and see if there is a shrine. I should have one guaranteed shrine, and there's a chance I hit, like, a massive or a brutal shrine, which will help with the clear. Okay, here's the shrine. It's a resistance shrine. Let me just go kill the boss real fast. It'll be right over here. Yeah, so here I just hit the boss, hit him with a regular Flame Blast, Infernal Cry, and then Vol Flame Blast. Um. 
All right, let's go towards our shrine. Okay. Earth Drinker card, nice. That's actually what I'm trying to get. Oh, I didn't even notice. Yeah, okay. So the Resistance Shrine pulled a... Uh, that doesn't really matter. Didn't get anything good. So I have a node on the Atlas so that when I take a Shrine node, I get another random Shrine node. So, you know, there's always a chance you can get a massive or something else out of it. No Sanctum. Okay, so for the Legion, I like to Infernal Cry and then Vol Flame Blast. And that basically triggers an explosion from each direction, which is very, very nice. It's for the most part cleared. I don't know what's alive. Maybe like a mob or two. I'm just going to move on to the next legion. Let me actually just hit a few mobs, get the Vol Flame Blast. And one more. Okay, yeah, let's go. Cleared. Cool. Okay, that boss has two phases, so we'll come back for it. Alright, phase two should be ready. So when she's in phase two, she does like some really ridiculous damage when she does that like slashy slashy. I don't know what that is, but it does insane damage. To the high ground. Yeah, I think she's dead. When I'm ready, yeah, and that's I'm pretty much before. that's pretty much mapping on this character. It handles Legion setup really well. Oh hi, there's another boss here. Yep, so that's pretty much about it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop up my Atlas for you guys. I'm sure in Trade League, there's much better things you guys can do. This is just kind of what I have right now in SSF. I think the only thing I don't like is, um, is like quantity of Breach Splinters dropped by Breach Monsters. I think maybe the Breach Monster is fine, but there's one for hands. Um, maybe I'm wrong. I thought there was one for like hands. I'll look at it another time. That's probably the only thing I don't really like on my tree because... I don't even know if it's really worth me to pick up splinters in like twos and threes. Maybe for like Ul Natal and Chayula, uh, but for all the other ones, I don't really think it's needed. You get such consistent breach stone drops from the bosses, uh, and more so you get such consistent like high stacks from killing the bosses anyway, so it doesn't really feel as necessary. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much about it. If you guys have a question, you know, feel free to drop it down below in the comments. If you want to know more about the character, Check out the previous video that kind of more so talks about it. Otherwise, feel free to hang out on my stream at twitch.tv slash box. But uh, that's pretty much about it. So if you guys like the video, don't forget you can like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget you can catch me streaming live every day, but Sundays. So see you guys all tomorrow.